How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be a complete animated series unboxing and this is going to be uh, another just one of my favorite shows uh, growing up. I uh, used to watch this all the time and it features the Dark Knight himself, Batman in the animated series. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So there's going to be two items here. So first up, <clears throat> excuse me, is the Deluxe Limited Edition of Batman TAS, or the Animated Series. And this is a uh, Blu-ray and digital uh, only uh, set. I'm not sure if there's a DVD edition of it. There might be by itself. Uh, I don't remember ever seeing one. There is a, a basic uh, standard uh, Blu-ray set that you can get now. So that came out later. And the red writing, I'm not sure how well it's going to come out. Got some good lighting. And uh, yeah, it stands out. And you also get three uh, pocket pops of the Joker, Harley Quinn, and Batman. And there you see that classic shot of him on the front there. Here's the spines. <clears throat> and this box, um, yeah, it's not exactly the best that you see some wear. Uh, it's not like a hard box or anything. It's kind of like that thin cardboard. So just be aware. And on the bottom here, you have all the specs for the uh, disc. <clears throat> Excuse me, burping. And here is the back. So yes, finally, we got the complete series on Blu-ray. Uh, it is available on DVD still. You have like uh, four uh, box sets and the movies you can get separately. So this is what you get with this set. You get some lenticular uh, cards uh, with some really nice artwork. And you also get both of the movies, the main ones that I, I want to say they both played in theater, uh, Mask of the Phantasm and uh, uh, Mr. Freeze uh, Sub-Zero. And also another thing is that this is pretty much one giant book. Uh, well, it's not real big, but uh, and the discs are in sleeves. So we'll talk about that uh, when I get to it. So here is the, or in a, in a bit, here's the story details right there. And here are the bonus features. So you get a lot. You get a new uh, featurette uh, from the people behind the series. You get the, the two movies. There also is a third film, which I'll, I'll get into towards the end here. Um, and you also have other featurettes, interviews. Uh, I think there's like shorts. Uh, yeah, there, there's a ton of stuff. And this was a limited edition, so I have 36,266 of 69,048. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I'll go ahead and show the uh, pocket pops first. And here they are. And I want to say there's like regular size Funko Pop editions of each of these. So there you see Batman, he's got his Batarang, he's got like the classic blue uh, look. Harley Quinn and her mallet, her giant hammer. And there you see Joker looking pretty crazed. <laughs> I want to say there's a more accurate TAS version of the Joker as a Funko Pop. So yeah, they decided to go with another one, but it looks pretty cool. And okay. So let's go ahead and show these uh, lenticular cards first. They come in this really nice envelope. And yeah, hopefully you guys can make that out. Pretty nice. And there's the back. And let's go ahead and take these out. So these are uh, pretty well-made lenticulars. So the light's kind of shining on this side. I'm going to move it over here. That way you guys can see it. There's the Poison Ivy. And on the back, do you have some artwork of the city of Townsville? No, I mean Gotham. <laughs> but it's kind of like that, you know, the city of Gotham. Uh, it is just incredible, uh, Gotham City. Uh, and there you see Two-Face. Yeah, uh, Gotham City in general, the way they made it, uh, they designed it, it's like, it's very futuristic, but yet it's almost as if it's taking place in like the 
I don't know if it's the 50s or something, 40s, but it, yeah, it's got like that kind of classic feel about, while also being kind of like, you know, the futuristic computers and things like that. Vehicles. And here is, oh, so that was the Penguin. There is the Joker. Classic. Is the back that looks like the bat cave and there you see him and Catwoman flying around the city and I think I got one more after this one so here is him taking on Harley Quinn Joker with his gun that says bang <laughs> that's pretty funny and I believe that's his hideout right there with the clown face and uh yeah this series in general is just amazing uh this came out back in oh man it's been a long time i want to say 92 93 around there and it went on for uh that's one of the years it started i want to say it's 92 and it just went on from there played for a very long time uh, you know, repeats, then you had the theatrical uh, films. Uh, or I want to say Mask of the Phantasm was in theater. I can't quite remember if Sub-Zero was. Uh, but uh, just two really good films. And they're actually pretty dark. Um, that's the thing with this show. It had a very dark kind of tone to it. But I think with the way they did the setting and just the stories in general, it actually fits really well. Uh, the writing in this show is just incredible. There's the uh, bat symbol. Nice and red. And, uh, you know, just the direction they went uh, was just really, really good. So, it's in one big kind of booklet. So, it just opens up like this. And there's like the hard box. And here it is. And there are all the sleeves. Okay, so open it up here. You get a nice look at some of the villains in Batman's uh, Rogues Gallery. There you see Riddler, Mr. Freeze, Two Face, Penguin, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, Joker. Uh, you get like a little letter here. This is from Alan Burnett, uh, writer and producer on the uh, series. And here are the discs. So what you'll have is, is it'll say season one or season two and then it'll say which disc it is. And you always have a picture here. And you see Batman the Joker. And it will show the episodes, uh, if there's like commentary or introduction and it'll, or other features. And here are the rest of them. Here's the rest of the special features here. And here are the discs. So. Yes, they are in pull-out sleeves. Uh, there's actually another set that is uh, on pre-order, which is all of the Star Wars films. And it looks like it's in a similar set like this, where the discs will be in like these sleeves, and you have to kind of, you know, slide them out. Um, these are pretty secure, so they're not like falling out or anything, but just be aware, because, uh, you know, this was a big point of contention, you know, because they can possibly scratch the disc. You know, uh, luckily Blu-rays are pretty uh, tough, so yeah. But either way, just be aware. There's Catwoman. And Season 1, Disc 2. So yeah, it's kind of an odd choice that they went with that. You know, the whole sleeve kind of deal, but yeah. And here is Disc 3. And this is Joker's redesign, which always kind of... Maybe not bothered me, but kind of threw me off later on. <laughs> uh, this is from The Adventures of Batman and Robin, which is the last part of the animated series, pretty much. Um, and they did, like, redesigns of some of the villains. And Batman and Robin kind of look a little different, too. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Because I'm not sure if maybe they had a different animation team. Like, maybe they switched staff. There's a penguin. And uh, yeah, so story's good. Music is awesome. I love the opening theme. Just classic, uh, you know, no words, just, you know, 
got the nice music playing it's very epic sounding it is very reminiscent of the original Tim Burton film uh, with uh, Michael Keaton and uh, uh, you know uh, Jack Nicholson as a Joker uh, very reminiscent of that and why not because the music in that movie was just incredible very epic sounding and it just fits really really well And this set in general, um, actually I'll get more into that at the end. You see Batman and Catwoman. So that's season two. And then here is season three. And there's Scarecrow, the Riddler. And Mr. Freeze, love that costume. And the way he talks is kind of weird. I think it's because he has like the helmet, uh, the glass dome. But uh, yeah. The Riddler, of course, with his riddles, you know, riddle me this, <laughs> and Scarecrow, you know, with his fear toxin. And then here is Batman and Robin right there. Oh, I don't think I showed the, this contents. So pretty much all of them have special features. Um, I think one of them might just have one thing, or almost all of them, yeah. They at least have like a commentary or something like that. Okay. And you also get a bonus disc. Which is, uh, now this is actually kind of weird. Um, uh, so, where is it at? Oh, they're stuck together. Sorry about that. Okay. So, here is Batman Two-Face. So, here's your bonus disc, which has the Heart of Batman, which is a very nice special feature, and concepting Harley Quinn. Because, if I remember correctly, Harley Quinn did not exist at all until this show came out. Her introduction was in the series. And then she eventually got, like, her, co her own comics and stuff. And what a debut. She was incredible. <laughs> she was played by uh, Al or Arlene uh, Sorkin, who just did an amazing job. And the voice acting in this show is great. You also have uh, the great Mark Hamill playing the Joker. And you have Kevin Conroy as the Dark Knight. Just incredible. And everybody in general, all the villains, you know, uh, uh, you know, Commissioner Gordon, Bullock, everything. There is uh, Mask of the Phantasm. You can't get those on DVD. As well, there is like a two-pack. Or actually, it's both films on one disc, pretty much. And you can get them separately. They are available separately on Blu-ray, too. There's special features. And I think Mask of the Phantasm has some special features. No, not really. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And there's a disc for that. And these films look great. Uh, all the discs look and sound really amazing. They did a really good job. And there you see the city. And here's some other villains. You have uh, the Mad Hatter. There's Harley Quinn. Man Bats. Man, he was scary. <laughs> and uh, Clayface. Oh, man. That was a really dark story. Uh, with Clayface and even Man Bat too. All these, they all have some pretty dark themes to them. But uh, yeah, so there is a separate movie. So mine is kind of weird. So I have bonus discs right here. But then I have another one. So it's like they added an extra one and here's an empty slot. So I'm going to put this film, uh, Batman Mystery of the Batwoman, which is pretty much from the last part of the animated series, uh, Batman, The Adventures of Batman and Robin. And uh, yeah, this is a, a cool film. So this I got uh, separately. You can find them for uh, pretty cheap, DVD and Blu-ray. And you do get some uh, special features, which look really nice. And here is the disc. Looks cool. So I'm just going to take this out and just put it right here since I got this extra sleeve because I was wondering what the heck happened. Uh, but yeah, right there. 
And there we go. So yeah, it's kind of weird they didn't include that one. You have to get it separate. Um, but yeah. So here is the booklet. And let's go ahead and display these. So that does it for Batman the Animated Series. Just an absolute amazing show. Uh, highly recommend this show if you haven't seen it or um, you know you wanted to uh, check it out. And it is still available. You have uh, DVD uh, releases. There's four box sets that you have to get. And you also have the, um, oh, I'm trying to think, um, what else is it? You have the separate movies. And there is a standard edition, which is, uh, it's a slip box with, I believe, two cases, uh, two DVD uh, sets. So, yeah, or uh, Blu-ray uh, cases. All right. Excuse me, burp in there. And uh, here we go, looks good. It might look kind of dark because of the lighting. Uh, but uh, yeah, Batman TAS, absolute amazing show. I still watch this all the time. Uh, I just marathon the heck out of it because <laughs> it's just, it's really that good. Writing's good, action's good, the music is uh, great. The story's very, very good. You do have some goofy ones. Uh, but you do have some really dark and serious ones too. This this has a very dark tone to it, but it fits so well. It is just so well done, and voice acting good all around. Uh, you know the villains voice really well. Uh, Mark Hamill as a Joker, he has made that voice, and it it is incredible. Uh, Kevin Conroy, who still does the voice, uh, I think Mark Hamill retired. Uh, or maybe he still comes back for certain projects, but um, yeah. Uh, Kevin Conroy, still really good. Arlene Sorkin as Harley Quinn, you know, this is her debut. Uh, she did an amazing job, you know, her and like her kind of like a uh, New York accent. <laughs> and she's really good and funny. Um, and uh, yeah, so Batman TAS, highly recommended. Have you seen any of this? And uh, also, uh, other Batman shows. Have you seen any other uh, animated series? I know there's um, uh, what's called The Batman. You also have uh, that's like a 2D one. You have a CG one which is called Beware the Batman. I actually really like that one. That was on Cartoon Network. I think it got cancelled. Um, I think the Batman might have got cancelled too. Or no, I think that had an ending. Um, but I like Beware the Batman so I think I want to get that too. And uh, yeah, there's this all different kinds. There's also movies, which we do have, I think all of them. <laughs> so I'll eventually get into that as well, because we do have a lot of Batman uh, stuff. So with that, like the video if you do, subscribe if you like, and out of any Batman show or movie have you seen, you know, which one is your favorite? You know, do you like the animated series? You know, uh, as far as like the uh, animated stuff goes, and out of live action films, which one do you like the best? Feel free to let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait, wait. So, just so, just so I let you guys know, this set, I think, is out of print. Um, this was selling out, I think, pretty quick when it got announced. Or announced, sorry about that. Um, so, just be aware, if you do find it, it can be pretty pricey. I know it was when it came out. The standard set, I know, I think on... Um, what is it on Amazon? I think it's like 40, 50 bucks right now. Well, I think that's before shipping and tax. Um, I have found it in store, but it's like 60 to $70 normally. Um, I think if, you know, if you find it in a store, so just be aware of that if you are looking for it. But yeah, it does have a standard set, which is really good. It just came out later. So uh, yeah, so with that, I'll see you guys next time.